The part where it goes into the penis, that could be a pudendal neuralgia as well. Did you ever get worked up for a pudendal neuralgia? Yeah, so I, uh, I went to the public floor PT, and I was like, hey, like I have, I have the identical symptoms to pudendal neuralgia. Um, and he was like, yeah, Okay. Um, doing some of the deep tissue stuff. She did like some of the internal work. Yep. I did that. I did that for probably three to four months. Okay. I didn't notice. I didn't notice any sort of. It just seemed like everything stayed the same, basically. Okay. One of the interesting things is that the pudendal nerve runs uh, in the low back region. The pudendal nerve runs between two ligaments, the sacrospinous and the sacrotuberous ligaments. These are close to the SI joint. They're not part of the SI joint, but they are uh, close and have some fascial connections to some of the other ligaments in the SI joint. And so we've seen sometimes even where patients have, they've gone through PT, they've done, you know, different things for pudendal neuralgia, that they've actually got an entrapment of the pudendal nerve around the SI joint. So in between those two ligaments, and then we hydrodissect that fascial plane in between those two ligaments and symptoms get better. So I wouldn't necessarily rule out pudendal neuralgia just based on the fact that PT was ineffective uh, for the symptoms. But but again, and, and this is, you know, the, the thought process we go through with everything is taking all of this information to try and figure out why you're still in pain.